Today, I will uh, talk about my work the called the Pink and Blue Project. Uh, the Pink and Blue Project began in 2005, was inspired by my daughter, so really loved pink. Um, I found that um, my daughter was not the only one. Most little girls love pink so much. This phenomenon seemed widespread um, among various ethnic groups of children, um, regardless of their cultural background. I think perhaps it is the influence of a pervasive commercial advertisement, such as uh, um, the universally popular Barbie and Hello Kitty merchandise. Oh. When I go to a mega store like Walmart and look around the children's section, and I found this played with uh, color for pink and blue for boys. Also, sometimes some items um, for children only come in pink or blue. There are no choices. Therefore, some girls think they do not especially like pink, but they have many pink things. Blue has become a um, strength and a symbol of become a symbol of strength and masculinity, while pink symbolizes uh, femininity and sweetness. Color affects the content of other commercial products as well. Many toys and books for girls are pink, purple, or red. And most boys' toys and bo um, books are made from the different shade of blue. As girls grow older, their taste for pink changes. Until about second grade, most girls uh, are very obsessed with the color pink, but around the third or fourth grade, they uh, are not obsessed with the pink anymore. Usually their taste changes to purple. Later, there is another shift. To make the pink and blue project, I visited the children's room where I displayed uh, all their positions and um, laying them all out uh, in a systematic way. And the final appearance is very spectacular. This process uh, takes about six hours. When I display their items, the children are also surprised by uh, how many pink or blue things they have. Until now, I have worked with uh, more than 70 children uh, of various ethnic groups in New York and Seoul. The purpose of my work is to give the chance to rethink, customize the thinking in our society and to find out why consumer culture uses color um, as a form of gender identity. The three photos are, um, models are the same, my daughter. From left to right, uh, the photo was taken 2005, 2008, and 2009. When I, uh, start the, when I started the pink and blue project, I did not expect to make uh, the second version of the pink and blue project. But I saw my uh, daughter's taste change from pink to purple and light blue, and she did not uh, like uh, pink anymore. Now she's 13 years old, and she wears various colors, except pink. And these two models are you know, same too, and they are twins. And the left side was taken in 2006, and right side was taken in 2009. I revisited my models uh, about three or four years later. Why, what I discovered is that children's favorite color is cha changes to various other colors. This project portrays 
the process of development of these children based on color, which is often socially dictated. I have a plan to follow these children until they become adults. So I guess I have to live a long life. When I this pic uh, when I these pictures are completed, we will be able to see the aspect of social development, um, both in the subject and society at large, through my work. Thank you very much.